So, I spent about three hours last night on the internet trying to figure out how to heat my workshop because it is freezing and my fingers barely work when I'm tinkering away with things. Now, most people use, or most people have one of these at home, two kilowatts um, fan heater lying about and they'd probably just plug that into the to the grid at home to the house and you probably paid one, two, three quid an hour to heat your workshop using that, which is crazy because I don't want to give money to Shell Energy, I'd rather create it myself. So this workshop has a, a 260 watt pair of panels, 105 amp hour lead acid battery, and I wanted to figure out if I could get something to plug into my DIY solar kit in the garage workshop. So that's essentially free energy, free heating, um, and also see how well it does. So at the moment, I'll um, hang on a second, let's spin you around. So our 105 amp hour lead acid battery is currently at 84%. I'm gonna nip over to Lidl, where I am told that there is a ceramic plug-in heater, which is around about 600 watts. Um, a small one, so that should be able to plug into this system and hopefully give us some power, and we'll do some tests to see how long and how much energy it takes. So let's go. So we are plugged into the solar system. Now I believe this needs to be upright and because of the way that my bug sockets are positioned, I'm gonna to have to keep it like so. <laughs> don't like the way that that made that noise. Okay, we've got some heat. Pumping out quite a lot of heat now. Quite impressive. And if we have a little look over here, down to about 79%. Now there's no sunlight coming in through the solar, as you can see. Oh, where are we? That's where your solar would be because nothing on those panels because it's dark. Okay, let's talk figures then um, in perfect test conditions, which it is not because it's the middle of January and it's not a brand new battery. But if it was a brand new battery and in the middle of summer, then a, heat, a 100 amp hour, let's use round figures, a 100 amp hour battery would last for one hour if you were running a 1200 watt fan heater. So a 1.2 kilowatt fan heater would last for one hour. Now in my case, I'm using a 600 watt Silvercrest fan heater. Um, and that fan heater should last for two hours if it was perfect test conditions. Uh, however, I'm using a lead acid battery and it's cold and realistically we're going to have lots of other devices plugged in at the same time. But a lead acid battery as pictured here with my dad filling about with one, you shouldn't allow it to fall below 50% of its capacity otherwise you cause irreversible damage. A bit different if you're using a lithium ion battery, you can go down to virtually nothing and recharge all the way back up with no issues but they are about five times more expensive so each of their own. Um, so a, a one amp device should last for 100 amp hours. One amp, 100, two amp, 50 hours and so on. Check back in a few days and I will let you know how I've got on, how the Silvercrest 600 watts ceramic fan heater holds up and 
let you know if it heats up my uh, DIY workshop. Completely off-grid solar system. Please uh, consider liking and subscribing for more quality content. Yeah, all right, see you later.